going to show you uh, moleview.org uh, to check your names and structures. This was the program we used back in the Vesper unit. Or, uh, sorry, when we looked at Vesper structures. So if you go to moleview.org, you get the default molecule, you get a caffeine. You can draw whatever you like. So if you click that CH button, you saw me hit at the top there. This actually allows me to draw like the condensed structure, let's say, rather than lines. All right, so I'm just going to put a random molecule in here. All right, this would be one of the isomers of C8H18 that you would have drawn. All right, I hit the 2D to 3D button, and it'll actually show me essentially a full structure. It'll show me all the carbon atoms and all the hydrogens. Now, if I go up to Tools and I click Information Card, I get the line structure, but more importantly, I actually get the correct systematic name for it. So this is 234-trimethylpentane. All right. So if I had, let's say, been given that name or been given the structure, I can check my work against it. All right, so let's put another one in. All right, so just hit the, the garbage can there. Draw whatever you like. All right, you notice that I didn't need to draw the hydrogens, that the computer just knew that if unless I put something else there, um, that any remaining bonds on carbons were to be filled with hydrogen. So here I draw a funny little shape. All right, but the computer knows that this is octane. All right, so switch. I could have hit the 3D button there. It would have drawn me the 3D view of octane. It would have straightened it all out for me. All right, let's just draw one more. We'll throw a few of our um, halogens into this one. All right, so I'll make the shape a little bit funny. I won't put it in an exact straight line, but make a, a methyl branch or a couple methyl branches here. Um, and let's drop a few fluorines, or a couple fluorines in. Alright, you can see I can show the hydrogens. Again, click the information card. Look what I have here. I have 3,4-difluoro-2,3-dimethylhexane. Alright, so it can be a very useful tool for, for our work.